Hey, YouTube family, this your boy Ray Mac. This is what we're going to do today, y'all. We're going to do with some shrimp and steak. All right, we're going to have a nice shrimp and steak dinner, and these shrimp are going to be blackened. So this is what I want to do. I want to show you first how to create this blackened seasoning. And the ingredients that I'm going to use, the first thing I'm going to use is some paprika, and then I'm also going to toss in, I'm telling you this is going to be good, some chili seasoning. And then I'm going to also toss in with that some cumin. This is our design for our blackened seasoning. And I'm also going to toss in some garden herb seasoning for some some greenery. And I'm also going to toss in some garlic powder. Y'all got to try this. Then we're going to do some garlic salt. Along with this here, we're not done yet. We're going to toss in some black pepper. And just to sweeten up this here, um, black and seasoning, we're going to put in some dark brown sugar. Along with that, we're going to use some minced garlic. Now, um, we're going to also use some oil just to go ahead and cook up this um, shrimp and the steak. And we're also going to use some butter too. So I do have a half a pound or a pound of these large shrimp. And then I'm also going to use these potatoes and I'm going to throw these in the air fryer. I'm going to cube them up and just throw them in the air fryer. All right. So the first thing I want to do is I want to take our ribeye steaks and I'm using some salt to where I just want to salt these babies up. I'm just going to use your basic seasonings just to season these up. You know what I'm saying? And this is definitely going to be a nice meal. Y'all got to follow this here recipe. I'm telling you right now. Trust and believe me, you will not be disappointed. Your loved one will love you for it. You will even love yourself for, for creating this. So I'm going to salt and pepper these babies up on both sides. And I'm also going to use that Weber's Steak and Chop Seasoning. I found it at, at um, Sam's Club, and I'm believing that this is definitely going to add a great flavor to these steaks as well. So I'm going to add the Weber's Steak and Chop Seasonings to this, and then I'm going to turn these babies over. And I'm going to season it up on the other side. Do me a favor. Don't go nowhere. But how do you season up your steaks? Comment below. Tell me how you season your steaks up. And if you marinate your steaks, tell me exactly what do you use to marinate your steaks. I like to give your recipe a try. Don't go nowhere because this is definitely going to be a great and awesome video to watch. Now we got our steak seasoned up, and what I want to do now is just season up these here shrimps. So I'm put on some brown sugar, and then I'm taking all of that seasoning, and I'm going to also add it to the shrimps as well. These are about a pound of shrimp. I said a half, but I'm thinking these are about a pound of shrimp, and these are the jumbos. And all you have to do is just work and massage that seasoning into these shrimp. Yes, we are blackening these shrimps, and I'm telling you right now, with the combinations of these flavors, you're going to love it. Your palates is your Tongue palates is just going to act all crazy like they ain't got no common sense once these flavors hit that tongue. Trust and believe me, you're going to love it. Yes, indeed. Just look at the seasoning for yourself. It's going to stick real good and it's going to blacken these shrimps real good. So let's prepare ourselves for some nice flavors, y'all. And you definitely can use this on any type of fish, whether it be tilapia, trout, whether it be um, catfish. You know how a lot of us, a lot of us like that black and catfish. Try this seasoning. I'm, tr I'm telling you, try this seasoning combination. I'm telling you, you can't go wrong. So I got me a cast iron skillet on um, high heat. All right. And I'm also going to toss in some of this here olive oil. Now, what I want to do first of all is I want to go ahead and cook up these steaks. Now, I'm going to cook these steaks per side at least around about a good um, four minutes per side. 
All right. It all depends on how you like your steak. Some people like theirs raw. I can't do the raw. Some people like it like a medium rare or well done. However you consider having your steak, you go ahead and you cook it up the way accordingly to how you like it. So I'm going to cook these to about medium well, and these are definitely going to be some good steaks. So I'm tossing in at least around about a good two to table, two to three, I'm sorry, two tablespoons of butter. Um, and I'm going to do this per side. So just check this out and don't go nowhere. I'm not done with this video yet. Y'all tell me now how you like your steaks cooked and what you put on your steaks. Comment below. Now our steaks is done and I want to move these to the side and I'm going to definitely going to do something else before I do this. I'm taking some of this Kinder's cowboy butter and I want to season these babies up. Now you could take some of this Kinder's cowboy butter and mix it in some butter, put it in, in the fridge and throw you a glob of butter on there, whatever the case may be. So I'm going to wrap these babies up with some aluminum foil, let them sit to the side so those juices can, can get all up in this here meat because this is definitely a good way of cooking some steaks so now what i'm doing now is i want to oil up this here cast iron skillet and i got it on medium high heat and i want to go ahead and cook up these shrimps i want to blacken these shrimps you understand what i'm saying like i said these seasonings that you've seen me put on these shrimps you've got to use it y'all you got to try it because i'm telling you right now it's some good stuff it's some good stuff going on up in here and this kitchen smells so good so i want to cook these shrimps at least around about a good two minutes per side and that's it don't want to do nothing else if you overcook these shrimps I'm guaranteeing you they're going to be tough and rubbery or whatever. These are some nice jumbo shrimps, and I'm telling you, you're going to love this here recipe. So definitely give this here a try. <laughs> Man, look at that right there. Tell me that don't look good, y'all. I swear it does. And if you can smell what I'm smelling, it smells so good. I'm telling you the honest God truth. So now what we're going to do since we got these babies looking all good, we're going to move these to the side, put them on some on your plate because we ready to go, y'all. I know somebody wanted to eat at least around about two or three or four. I did it. I swear to God, I did it. So trust and believe me. I know you can't hold back. You won't hold back. If you do hold back, something wrong with you you ain't human if you ain't gonna try not to eat at least around about two or three of these babies before you even play them up i'm telling you y'all i'm weak i don't know how many y'all out there weak but i'm weak when it came to these shrimp looking the way that they did and smelling the way that they did i had to put at least around about three or four in my mouth so somebody was short of a shrimp but i don't care i bought them anyway but yet they was good y'all you got to get this recipe a try all right so the next thing we're going to end up doing for you guys man i got me a, um, a lemon that i split in half i just want to char this lemon up because you got to squeeze that juice on those lemons you know what i'm saying and we're going to go ahead and plate this baby up man and once we plate this baby up it's time to eat y'all time to grow up down it's nothing fancy or nothing like that but look at this here the blackened shrimp y'all i'm telling you this plate by itself was good and i'm serious so serious as i could possibly be i can chow down on this all day every day give me some dipping sauce or whatever you want to use as far as it goes with that some tartar sauce some hot sauce ketchup mustard i don't care what you use so you could just go ahead and plate up your steaks man and your shrimp and squeeze some of that lemon over your shrimp and i also used uh, a couple of those potatoes that i chopped and I diced up and I threw them in the um, air fryer. I just seasoned them up and just threw them in the air fryer and that's what I'm having with this. Love and not hate. Love somebody, but huh, you know the real.
If you enjoy watching this mouthwatering adventure and want more delicious recipes from my kitchen, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Stay tuned for more deliciousness coming your way and get ready to take your cooking skills to the next heights. Thanks for joining me on this flavorful journey. And until next time, love and not hate. Peace.